Hello, it's day 39, and I want to talk about dangerous times. I didn't have a very good day at the gym today. I was very distracted. I just didn't go as hard as I usually do. And to make, to make it worse, uh, I engaged in one of my bad habits at the gym today, and that is the bad habit of comparison. I really try to avoid comparing myself to people at the gym, but today I couldn't help it. There's this lady that goes there who's about my age, I would say, and she's there about as regularly as I am, but she looks way better. She looks way better than me. She can run without breaking a sweat at all, and she does it she runs on the same days as I do, so it's very easy to compare myself to her, even though I try not to. I've never spoken to her. I just kind of see her around. And today I found myself thinking, what is the difference between me and her? Why is she doing so much better with running than I am? And I came to the conclusion that I'll never really know. I'll never really know what she's doing differently. But it could be as little as... 200 calories a day over the course of 10 years. Do you know what I mean? And so once I was done comparing myself to her, I got to thinking, are my days really that bad? Even my bad days. 200 calories a day is one grocery store cookie. It's two of those fun size Snickers. It's, when you're eating amounts that small, it's very easy to think, uh, this doesn't count. This doesn't count because it's only a little bit. I also got to thinking about the times of day when I actually am hungry. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not hungry. I'm just never hungry in the morning. Or if I am, it's very rare. I can think of maybe one or two times in the whole past year that I've woken up hungry. As the day goes on, I get hungrier and hungrier. But the really dangerous times of day for me, the times of day where I'm most likely to start overeating or start a binge are right when I get to work, right when I get off work, and after dinner. The days when I can resist overeating at those times, those are the days that I have a good day. And the days when I give in, the days where I start snacking at those times, those are the days where I typically spiral out of control. So then how can I control my overeating at those times? I've come up with a couple ideas. When Immediately when I get to work, I've just made that one snack time. That's official snack time. I plan a snack for the day, and when I get to work, that's when I eat it. When I get off work, as I'm walking out the door past the candy shelf, I've, got, I've tried to get myself into the habit of just saying, I don't do that anymore. I've been trying to get myself in the habit of focusing on dinner instead. It's like when the old ladies, when you were a kid, used to tell you, don't eat candy right before dinner, you'll spoil your appetite. So I'm trying not to eat from the candy shelf. And finally, right before bed, right before bed, I've started drinking sparkling water. The carbonation and the fizziness, it, it's, a good, it's a good treat right before bed. And it doesn't make me sick, so I can sleep a little better. I, I really can't say why I'm doing so poorly. The number on the scale hasn't really changed all that much, and my ability to do a 5K hasn't really changed. My ability to do a pull-up, eh, I'm still just hanging on that bar like a sad little monkey. And goal three is still a long way off, at least till midsummer. I feel like I'm in a rut. I feel like I'm in a rut, and every day I'm just fighting against my body. Like, let's think about this. I'm 39 days in. I feel like I'm taking it seriously, but things just aren't changing. What's 39 divided by 7? 5-ish, 6-ish, somewhere in, in between there. So if we just go on the low end of that, 5. I've been doing this for 5 weeks. Shouldn't I theoretically have lost 10 pounds? This is what I this is what I go back to every week. Like I I'm just fighting the same battle over and over. Every day I wake up and fight the same battle. I can't gain any ground.
And I know enough to understand that the only thing that can make you gain weight is eating too much. So somewhere in my day, even with all my calorie tracking, even with all of my diligence, somewhere in my day, I am underestimating the amount of calories I eat. I am eating more calories than I'm burning. You know what? I'm going to have to dig out the food scale. I have no idea where my food scale is. I moved house last year. Like I said, I bought some property, but I have no idea where that food scale is. But I need to find it. Eyeballing it's not working. You know what, diet buddy? This should be so simple. This should be one of the easiest things you have to do in your life. Just don't eat too much. I am losing my mind. I, f I, I feel like I am losing my mind. I hope you're not losing your mind because we can't, we gotta, we can't both be in a bad spot at the same time. <laughs>